I don't make a video for three years. Then I do two videos back to back. This is the second day and this is a new product from Bear Creek Arsenal or at least new for me. I've been looking for them. They've been out of stock and they have it back. Wait, there's nothing in there. That's because I've already removed it because it got kind of awkward when I was trying to cut the tape. But here it is. The Bear Creek Arsenal full-size AR upper with a 20-inch barrel, a 5.56 NATO 1 and 9 twist black nitride barrel. This has the detachable carry handle. I've been wanting another full-size AR. That was what I grew up with, was the full-size ARs, the A2 style, actually. But this has the detachable carry handle. But it'll do for the price because this was cheap. $263 and change, so under $264. That's a really good price, and for that, you know, getting that cheap on an upper, especially one with a 20-inch barrel that's black nitrided, you're usually going to sacrifice somewhere. But I don't really find any places that they shortcut it. I mean, let's look the barrel. You can see the markings. 5.56 NATO, 1 and 9 twist, the A2 flash hider, an F-marked front sight post, nice ribbed hand guards on that long 20-inch barrel. There's our upper receiver marking. There's the detachable carry handle, and you know, sometimes those will be glossy in this mat, and they don't match up. Well, this looks, on camera, it doesn't do it justice. It matches up perfectly. Let's look at the underside here. This says... I don't know if that means anything, but it says SS26. Let's look at the bolt carrier group. Get this out. Nicely machined full auto bolt carrier. And the bolt, I have a buddy that bought one of these, so I already cheated and knew what this was. This is a black nitride bolt MPI. So magnetic particle inspected. We get this pin out, or take the bolt out rather, and we'll look at the firing pin and see if they got rings proper and also how they staked this. That thing is not gonna come out easily, you know, when they're new, first few times. Whoops, forgot the firing pin. First few times, they just really don't wanna cooperate. All right, so let's look. Our firing pin there. Nice, looks good. And now the bolt itself. See ring spacing, acceptable. No. Yeah, this is not bad at all. I don't see the 556 five, marking nor Carpenter 158 marking on here, but I do see the magnetic Particle inspected, and this is supposed to be Carpenter 158, at least I believe it said that on the website. But anyway, that's the bolt carrier assembly. Oh, almost forgot the staking. There it is. Decent job there. Yeah, so not a bad setup for the money. Let's sneak a peek down inside this upper assembly. No chrome lining because this is a black nitride barrel, so you don't need it there. There's everything up in there, so, you know, not a bad setup. Again, usually a lot of shortcuts on these cheaper or more affordable assemblies, but not in this case. I am well impressed, as I usually am, with Bear Creek Arsenal. They've never let me down, and it seems like they're only getting better. So what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm going to dig into my box of Bear Creek Arsenal lower receivers that I keep. Back when you could easily get lower receivers from them. This is actual legit Bear Creek Arsenal lower. So I think I'm going to build that out. And I'm probably going to use this Palmetto State Armory Premium Classic Lower Build Kit that comes with the enhanced polish trigger that, or I have some Anderson on the way that have stainless steel trigger. I'll see which one, probably this one though, because I really like that. For the butt stock, I'm going affordable on this, trying to make this as affordable as possible. So I got this UTG A2 fixed butt stock, and I think this is gonna make a decent full-sized AR build. 
So I think budget-wise, I think I spent 60 bucks on this build kit. I got it on sale. So say 265 here. So what's that? 325. I spent sixty dollars, I believe, on this. So that's three eighty-five. And I believe back when I bought these, they were super cheap, like thirty bucks. So a full-sized AR. Let's see how the coloring match up here. Once I get it with a little oil on it, I think it'll match up perfectly. No receiver slop. It's not moving around on me. So that will work out well. So there we have it. The full-sized $263 and change 20-inch AR upper from Bear Creek Arsenal. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.